Hi, this is Nicole Windham and this is part 6 of e-commerce. In this video we are going to focus on setting up shipping options and payment gateways. The very first thing you need to decide is if you're going to use one of the integrated shipping services such as FedEx or UPS or if you're going to define your own shipping rates. Which option you're going to use can depend on the type of products you're selling, which company you want to use for freight and delivery, how detailed you want your rates to be and what's really convenient for you. For example, if you have a product that can be delivered for $5 across the whole region, you can simply define your own $5 shipping option and you wouldn't have to worry about such things as the product dimensions and weight. So how does the customer experience the shipping options on the e-commerce website? If they add products to the cart, they need to click on view cart and then they will be taken to the shopping cart. If you have shipping options defined, the tag shipping options, which resides inside your shopping cart layout, will display the shipping options that apply to the URL you and your customers are on and those that apply to the products in the cart. The system will take into account the product weights and dimensions and apply the correct shipping option to that combination of products and it will also take into account the catalogs to which the shipping options doesn't apply. If you have set up a state tax, your customer should see a destination country drop down. Below that, you will see a drop down with the shipping options that apply to the products currently in the card. And then below that, you will find a destination state drop down. And in case you are using an integrated shipping service, you will also see a zip code field. If you're using state tax parameters, and if you click on the checkout button in the shopping cart, your customer will be taken to the registration step where the country and the state will be pre-populated and set to read-only fields so that the customer cannot avoid the state tax. The shipping options you define can be very simple or very complex depending on what you are selling and how accurate you want your shipping options to be. That is how close to the real cost you want the shipping to be charged. Try to define larger regions for shipping instead of using very granular options. To set up your custom shipping options, you need to go to e-commerce, shipping options and click on add new shipping option and choose the type user defined from the type drop down. You can add as many shipping options as required and each time you have to enter the following information. The country, select the country you sell your items to for example, the United States. Please note that the country in this dropdown is related to the country you have selected when you have added the URL to the side. Then type in a description. Your customer will see that description on the front end when they are in the shopping cart. So you want to type in something like flat rate, small package, for example, and then the shipping price, for example, a flat rate of $10. If you choose to use a tax code, this will be added to the shipping cost. You can create one or more tax codes for each country that you sell to. Remember to define tax codes, go to e-commerce and tax codes. Under more options, you can optionally set the following fields. A handling charge. You can set up a different price in order to try to cover your handling charges. The same goes for the additional per item handling charge. The weight limitations for all weight limitations unit on here, it really depends on the size and weight of your products. But make sure you follow the instructions on what kind of measurement to use. Usually those measurements are conform with your shipping provider. Otherwise you will need to convert them, for example, from grams to pounds. The order price limitation, if you set a minimum order value, then this shipping option will only be available to customers if the total value of the products being purchased is greater than this value. Show shipping option 2 means that this option will allow you to display this shipping option to all customers, wholesalers or non-wholesalers. You can also choose to limit this option to only certain countries. Hold the control button down when selecting multiple options from the list below. You can also include shipping if purchasing from these catalogs. That means you can exclude certain products from the shipping option by excluding the catalogs they belong to from the shipping options. Make sure that the product doesn't belong to multiple catalogs or this option will not work. Hold the control button down when selecting multiple options from the list below. For more information, please check out the 
list of helpful links and resources for this module. In order to set up an integrated shipping option, you can choose any of the providers from this list here. But before you do that, you need to make sure that the provider operates in your country. In order to use integrated shipping options, you have to add weight and dimensions to all your products. If you don't have these against your products, the system will be unable to calculate the options and to retrieve the options from the shipping provider. So for example, if you plan to set up an integrated shipping option with UPS, select the type UPS from the drop-down here, but you will also first need to obtain the account details from your shipping provider. Depending on the shipping provider, these usually consist of a username, password, account number and some other details. Most certainly, you also need to provide an origin zip code, which is the zip code of the location from which the goods will be shipped. Once you have that information, you need to add it into these fields here. For example, the origin zip code, the access key, and user ID, and a password. For more detailed information on how to set up UPS as an integrated shipping option, click on the link on the slide of this presentation. Now let's talk about payment gateways. The very first rule of setting up a payment gateway on the Business Catalyst system is that you have to upgrade your site to a paid site before trying to set up your payment gateway. If you do not upgrade your site to a paid site, all your efforts of trying to set up a payment gateway will eventually be fruitless. Now, there are three main ways of accepting payments online on the Business Catalyst system. You can use a payment gateway and this either can be seamless or non-seamless to process credit card payments immediately through a payment gateway or you can collect credit card details for offline processing and you can use offline payment methods such as COD, check or direct debit and then mark your orders as paid once you check your bank account. Please note that you can only use one payment gateway per website plus the PayPal standard payment gateway. However, you can use as many offline processing methods as you require. So what is a seamless and what is a non-seamless payment gateway? A seamless payment gateway is one that processes credit cards directly on your online shop website without redirecting the purchasing customer to any third-party website. The whole transaction is seamless and takes place in real time. On the other hand, a non-seamless payment gateway such as PayPal will redirect the purchasing customer to the PayPal website to process the payment and will redirect the customer back to the online shop after this has been completed. So what about recurring payments? The system allows you to accept recurring orders. This is when you create an order which recurs periodically and automatically charges the customer's credit card. If you are going to be creating orders like this to collect recurring payments, for example subscription payments, you must select a payment gateway that supports them. You can check out the resources to see a list of gateways which support recurring billing and click on the gateway name for specific information for that gateway. So now when it comes to set up your payment gateway, after logging into your admin console, navigate to e-commerce and payment gateways. You will need to select the country code you want to assign this gateway to and cite country to configure for. This country will need to match the country of the domain names you have added to your site under Site Settings and Site Domains. Each payment gateway has different requirements and such you will be asked to input different items, for example a user account name, a merchant ID, transaction keys, etc. depending on the gateway provider. Select the gateway you wish to use and you will see what details you need to provide for that gateway. You can also set up a testing payment gateway environment. The best way to test a payment gateway operation is to create a product with a value of one cent and add it to your catalog. Then try and purchase this product using all available payment methods. Make sure the order is created and if using PayPal ensure the payment status is set to success. Also check your invoices that you were emailed and ensure that the site owner has received their order workflow notifications. Using the payment gateways test gateways is possible, however often requires special credentials and card details to be used. When testing your gateway, you can use the link on this slide of the presentation that will take you to reference test cards if you need those.
For this final step of the segments, I'm going to walk you through of how to set up the PayPal Website Payment Pro Gateway. Select the gateway from the list here. And as I said before, the system will tell you what the system needs from you and what to enter in the admin console on here. So for the PayPal Website Payment Pro Gateway, all you need to do is to obtain a username, a password and an API signature from PayPal and paste this information into the fields on here. So go to paypal.com, log in with your PayPal credentials. Now under my account, click on profile and click on my selling tools. Then find the API access here and click on update. Click on request API credentials. Select request API signature and click on agree and submit. Now simply copy the information from this screen here and add it to the admin console. Remember, you have to upgrade to a paid site in order to save this information. If you're planning to use this gateway to process the uh, recurring billing transactions, you will need to sign up with PayPal to accept recurring payments. Otherwise, this feature will not work.